Gonorrhea and chlamydia are common sexually transmitted diseases among gay men in China, spreading silently through high-risk communities. But what if the same gay communities could be used to spread STD testing? Pay It Forward does just this. Pay It Forward allows recipients of an act of kindness to continue passing acts of kindness forward. In this case, gay men received a free STD test and were then given the option to contribute towards testing for future participants. Using challenge contests and other crowdsourcing methods, we created a community-based Pay It Forward program focused on expanding gonorrhea and chlamydia testing among gay men. The program was developed and designed from the bottom up by the local community. The name was created through an open contest. Postcards from participants spur men to get tested, and volunteer gay men organized the initiative. But does it work? In order to find out, we conducted a study comparing a Pay It Forward testing model to the standard of care. In the PIF model, we initially contributed a small pool of money to cover STD testing. Gay men were offered a free STD test and the option of donating towards testing for future participants. Men could also write a postcard for future participants encouraging them to get tested. In the standard of care, gay men were offered testing at the standard price of 24 US dollars. Here's what we found. More STD testing, high burden of undiagnosed STDs, and high rates of paying it forward. More STD testing. Gay men in the Pay It Forward group were 19 times more likely to receive gonorrhea and chlamydia testing compared to the men in the standard of care group. High burden of undiagnosed STDs. Of the gay men that took the test, for 80% of them, it was their first gonorrhea test, and for 86% of them, it was their first chlamydia test. That means a large majority of these gay men were new testers. High rates of paying it forward. 89% of men in the PIF group donated some amount. Considering the unit cost of STD testing, this translates into men covering an average of 80% of the unit STD testing costs. Wow, these results really surprised us. This model represents a new way to bundle HIV and STD testing among gay men in China and increase testing rates compared to conventional programs. Finally, we would like to thank our volunteers, our participants, and our seed funders. We are grateful for their kindness and excited to see it generate more kindness moving forward. Thank you to everyone that made this initiative possible. For more information, check out our website at www.seshglobal.org.